Alright guys, we are back with some more MX versus ATV Legends. Today we are going to be checking out the patch. It is patch day baby. And I'm not sure what's all in the patch, but I do know that one of the main things was the the sliding, right? How slippery it was. And so the traction and it's better. You know, I've been playing the game for quite a while and I just kind of got used to it and the way it played and it didn't, I mean, I wanted him to tone it down a bit, but I was still happy with the way it was playing. And so basically what this feels like is it toned down, it toned down the amount of slide you might have gotten before in the corner. It isn't, it's still there. I mean, it still is there to some degree, but it's better. It's easier to deal with, I guess. I mean, I have an example later in the video talking about using the left thumbstick for most of control of the bike and using the right thumbstick for just adjustments on the bike or for turning sharper. You know, in Supercross, on the bull turns, you you have to turn down off the, the berm and sometimes you have to turn sharper. It applies to the inside ruts on the motocross tracks too, so um, that's kind of how you use it. We'll talk about it when we get to that part of the video, but yeah, I do have a, a demonstration, I guess, kind of showing you what I mean because I think a decent amount of players are just using the right stick a tiny bit too much because, yeah, I mean, that creates a bunch of the sliding effect that happens in the game. Now, I'm not saying that the game isn't too slippery. But yeah, it, it was for sure a little bit too slippery, but this this patch definitely helped it. I mean, it, it didn't eliminate it. It didn't completely get rid of it. But in my opinion, I like the game. I played a bunch and just kind of got used to the way it was, but this is better. In my opinion, it needed to be toned down, but the game still needs to have some of that slide. If you don't have it the way the physics are and the way the game plays, it would just... I think it would make the bike feel really, 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 really stiff on the ground. It would probably feel like you couldn't even corner the bike. And this way, if you use the, the left stick for most of the, the turning and just the right stick to help you turn sharper, I think it works really good. Um, I had a comment conversation with a, a guy he was talking about what we're talking about here, that he uses the left stick for almost all the control, which is what I do. And then for turning, he uses the left stick, the brake, clutch boost, and the right stick to use the drifting, the sliding, to his advantage. And that's basically how I feel about it or felt about it. And he just put it in, in way better words than than I could have but yeah that's how I was playing the game and it still is how I'm playing the game it still is and has some of that slide in it and I think some people are gonna be happy with this patch and think it's better but I think there's gonna be some people that definitely still aren't happy and think it has too much I mean the players that really 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 were unhappy with the game still probably aren't going to be happy. It is a noticeable difference and a change, a good change, I think, for the game. But it isn't like be-all, end-all. You still do slide. And I think, I'm going to say it again, if they get rid of that completely, I think the game is going to feel odd. Really, really odd. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if they completely get rid of the, the sliding around, the game will feel way better. It'll be the best thing for it. Maybe, but after have playing, after I have played for quite a few hours, I enjoy the way it plays. It feels, I, I see a lot of people saying it doesn't control good, it isn't fluid, but I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm sure it feels that way for you, but for me, it does feel pretty fluid. It does control well, and I can make it play well in the game, and it is fun for me. So. Yeah, I think it's a good patch. It's a good first patch. I mean, 
Obviously, they're committed to making the game right and trying to get as many people happy with the game that have purchased it, you know, make them happy. And try not to, the people that are happy with it, try not to completely change it to where they're not happy with it. I mean, I'm fine with whatever they want to try and trust that they're taking the community feedback and balancing it, you know, taking the most requests, which the sliding was one of the most requested, this has got to get fixed things, but yeah, I, it's definitely better. The places I notice it the most still, obviously in Supercross, if you use the right stick too much on the bowl turns, you're going to notice it, but the reason I showed the outdoor tracks here is because on some of these tracks, I did notice it more still. Um, for example, if we were carrying a bunch of speed into a corner and um, even if we got slowed down in time, there was enough braking bumps before the corner that the bike, you know, the wheels are kicking up and down. So the bike isn't making contact the entire time, right? And even if it felt like I kind of got stopped for the corner, we would sometimes push up over the berm or out of the rut or off the track. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it adds another challenge to trying to stay on track, but it is better. And again, they if they completely get rid of it, I think the game would feel off. If you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments, but I like the game. I liked it the way it was, but I'm even happier with it the way it is now. I think this is a change for for the better. It doesn't mean we shouldn't suggest that they keep adjusting on it. This is just the first adjustment. Maybe the next one will make it even better, make it that much more better. But um, I felt like it was a safe patch. A safe patch to the people that were happy, probably still will be happy, and maybe the people that wanted to like the game but just couldn't deal with the slipperiness maybe this will help enough that you'll you'll give it a go again that's kind of what it feels like so uh this is the example so we're riding around here at the compound and i'm using the brake clutch and the left thumbstick that's it nothing else and we're not really sliding we can't turn very sharp but we're not really sliding I don't have a comparison for you from the way the game was before the patch, but we're not really sliding. And I know that we're at low speeds here, and the higher the speed, you're probably going to get obviously more, more slide happening. But here we switch over to using left stick, brake, clutch, and right stick. And you can see we turn much sharper, much, much sharper, but you do get more slide going and I think if I remember the way it played before that slide that we're getting now isn't near as much as it was before the patch so uh, definitely better now you have an example of what I've been trying to, to tell people in the comments that if you're having trouble with the slide in the corners use the left thumbstick that's gonna be the main control for the bike for pretty much any scenario. Use the right stick just for adjustments, so for whipping if you need to bring it back or throw it out or for helping to turn the bike sharper in a corner, um, but don't hold it for too long or you're gonna have a bunch of slide happening and you're gonna push out over corners and just have a, a big headache trying to figure out how to stop it. So. Uh, dual stick controls. I know some people have been happy with the the single stick, but um, In my opinion just my opinion you can try it if it doesn't work for you It doesn't work for you, but for me it does dual stick controls Everything we said in the video just to try to keep the the sliding under control, you know So let me know in the comments if you have tried it or after you do try it and let me know if it helps hopefully it does but I said it already, but I showed you this track, Big West, specifically because there are some instances where we still do have the slide effect going. And most of it was happening one of two reasons. One, we used the right stick too much, or two, we were carrying way, way, way too much speed into a corner. 
Um, you just have to you have to break. I mean, I know some of you guys might want to go super fast into a corner, but you have to slow down in this game a tiny bit. I mean, I don't know how you guys are playing. I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I do, but just think about slowing down a bit, using the brake, using the left analog stick, not the right one. The right one a tiny bit, but mostly left thumbstick. And the clutch boost. There is a clutch boost. It isn't insane, but it can help you get your speed back. So you can, you know, bump the the clutch a few times to try to get the bike um, going faster. So, yeah, that's my best advice and tips right now for for helping you to play the game. If you give yourself some time, you can you can figure it out if you're enjoying the game enough to keep playing. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.